In this video we're going to be looking at the four basic types of loci. Firstly we're going to look at some top tips for drawing. Um, what you need is a sharp pencil and what I've got here unfortunately is just a pencil, it's not very sharp. So get your pencil sharpener out and make sure you sharpen your pencil within an inch of its life. That way you're going to get much more accurate drawings. You're also going to need a nice clean eraser and a clear ruler. Here's a clear ruler uh, with markings in millimetres and centimetres, nice and clear there so you can see through it nice and easily. That's a useful top tip. Um, you also need a pair of compasses. Now here's your basic pair of compasses. This is the, the very basic set and if you get one of these, I recommend you get one of these, a little screwdriver, so that you can make sure that it's uh, kept nice and tight. Otherwise these things, very cheap, they tend to sort of uh, fall apart a little bit and get very loose, uh, which makes your drawings a lot less accurate. If you've got the money and you can afford it, then one of these uh, type of compasses, a bow compass, is actually even better. Um, needs to be quite a big one, so you can draw big circles. Uh, the, the smaller ones won't draw big enough circles for your exams, so these are the better ones. The great advantage of these is when you adjust the uh, radius of them it's very easy to do and you can do it really really accurately and once you've got them set they stay where you put them. Another basic piece of equipment is a protractor. That's what that looks like. One last thing if you can get this sort of pencil you've always got a nice sharp lead at the end and that's going to help you draw nice and accurately. So how do we put our compasses together? Well obviously this bit slots through here um, but that wouldn't be any good. What we need to do is close this up as far as we can, sort of thing like this, slot that in there, there we go, and get these two bits lined up at the bottom. Then when they're lined up you can rotate this black bit here and make that nice and secure. Now when you're using these things, rather than just sort of sticking it in the page and, and trying to sort of push it round and, and, and sort of struggling a little bit like that, the, the radius changes as you do it, you're putting a lot of pressure on the paper. My top tip is to use this finger here to help you just stick that into the uh, where it needs to go. So just use this as a little pivot. So plop that on the page, rock it down, you can go exactly where you want to go. So for example, if I wanted to do a, a circle with centre there, I can bring my finger in, use that as a little pivot to slide the point of the compasses down exactly where it needs to go. Putting pressure on here okay, means I'm not going to change the radius of this thing. Hold that away from me nice and gently okay, and then actually turn the paper like this okay, and uh, so let's get that past there. I've got my nice accurate drawing. Now, if you want to draw a straight line, let's say we wanted to draw a six centimetre line on the page here, don't just go like this and sort of guess and hope that that's about six centimetres. Actually, as it looks, it I've probably done that fairly accurately. The right way to do this is to look directly on top of your ruler, follow that line from zero and just extend that up. Come along here to six centimetres, follow that line and extend it up. You've got to look directly down, not from an angle where you'll get parallax error, and then you can then draw the line. Now what we've got here, we've got an exact little tick at the end of each line which tells us exactly where the ends of that line are. You're, you're going to get more accurate lines if you do that. The first locus type we're going to do is the set of points which are equidistant from a point. So I want to trace the path of all the points that are the same distance away from A. So let's say we want all the points which are exactly four centimetres away from A. Now essentially that's going to be a circle, centre a radius 4. So bring in our compasses, sharp end on the 0, move that into 4 centimetres exactly, make sure you place that on the ruler so it actually touches the ruler so you can get that as accurate as you can. In an exam you'll be allowed about 1 or 2 millimetres of error um, otherwise you'll, uh, you'll lose marks. So I'm going to just pop that in there nice and accurately so that's now in the centre and again I'm just going to draw my circle of radius 4 there we go so all of these points on that circle are exactly 4 centimetres away from A so this circle here 
is the locus of points which are 4 centimeters away from A. The second main locus type is the set of points which are equidistant from a line. So if I wanted all the points which were 3 centimeters away from line AB, that's essentially going to be a line up here, 3 centimeters away, a line down here, 3 centimeters away, and then all the points making this semicircle around the end here, and all the points making this semicircle around the end here. So I've got this big sausage shape which is 3 centimetres away from AB. Now, in order to do this nice and accurately, we've got to bring our protractor into play, and the, the little sort of crosshairs here, you need to line that up with the end of your line, um, making sure that that black line at the bottom there runs on your line. This vertical line here is exactly on the end of the line. We can go up at 90 degrees, and then we can sort of go down, so pencil on the paper, bring the ruler up, slide it round and then draw that line going down. Same again at the other end. Take a little bit of time to, to line it up, make it, make it nice and accurate. So my vertical line lines up with the end of that line, That's the ticks are useful for showing that, and then the horizontal black line across here is in line with the main line itself, up at 90 degrees, and again Let's put my pencil on there, slide it round, okay, that's in the right place, and then just draw my line going down. <clears throat> so I want a line which is three centimetres above. So I'll look at this then. Three centimetres above will be here. Three centimetres below is down here. Over this way. Oops. Three centimetres above is up here. Three centimetres below is down here. So, pencil on the paper, bring the ruler up, slide it round. That line there is three centimetres away from line AB. Come down here, slide it along. That line there is three centimetres away from AB. Now what I need to do is bring my compasses into play, bring the point onto the end of the line here, close up the compasses until they're exactly three centimetres, and now I can just draw that arc on the end. Ooh, slightly inaccurate, but uh, close enough to get me my marks. Let's just close that one up slightly. And again, from this end, three centimeters away. So I've got this big sausage shape. Every point on that sausage is three centimeters away from the line AB. So that's three centimetres in that direction, three centimetres in that direction, three centimetres in that direction. The third locus type is all the points which are equidistant from two points. So we know that a circle will be all the points which are the same distance from A, a circle will be all the points which are the same distance from B. But we want all the points which are the same distance away from A and B. So that's essentially going to be a set of points running right through the middle here. Okay, so the distance from A is always the same as the distance from B. So, trusty compasses come in again. Now we put our compasses on point B, and we need to open up over halfway. Now we don't want to open it up too far, because if I open it up too far, my, my arc's going to go off the page up here, and, we, and, and that's not really going to work. So it needs to be over halfway from B to A. The bigger the better, the more accurate it'll be, but don't go off the page. So now I'm going to do an arc which goes all the way around here. Now the exact distance doesn't matter as we say there, but I must keep this the same now. Let's turn this around. Compass point on A this time, and making sure that's the same distance, I can now draw my arc again. So what we can see is that every point on this arc is a set distance away from B. Every point on this arc is that same set distance away from A. So this point here and this point here are the same distance away from A and B. Can we see that? So that distance there is the same as that distance there. So if I join those up, put my pencil on the paper here, slide and swivel, join those two lines together, there we go. That line there contains a whole set of points which are always exactly the same distance away from B as they are from A. The fourth basic locus type is 
where we're try looking for the points which are equidistant not from points but from lines. So I've got line AB and I've got line AC and I want the set of points which are always the same distance away from that line as they are from this line. That's essentially going to be a set of points that come across here which cut that angle exactly in two, bisect the angle. So we've got to work out how we're going to do that. Well, the easiest way to do this, if you're right-handed, is to get your compasses, put the point on here. The exact distance doesn't really matter. Make it reasonably big. Generally speaking, the bigger these constructions, the better. And just draw yourself an arc that takes in those two points there, that takes in those two lines here. Now where this cuts the line here, that distance is the same as that distance. So I'm just going to take this point here and I'm going to extend my arc on out here, roughly in the middle here somewhere. Keeping these exactly the same, put my compasses on here and extend that line out here. So now I've got this point here, okay, is this distance away from A. That point there is the same distance away from A. From here to here is the same distance again and then from here to here is also the same distance again. If I was to join that from here to here and that from here to there, that would make a rhombus because all four sides of that quadrilateral would be the same size. I'm not going to do that because what I'm going to do is put my pencil on point A, slide up the ruler, swivel it round and join up through this point here where those, uh, where the other end of the rhombus would have been. Let's join that, let's uh, send that line off here. Now we've got the right construction. That angle there has been cut exactly in two, so this angle here is the same as this angle here, but this line here is the set of points which are always the same distance away from AB as they are to AC.